I'll say this. It was probably like 19, 1990. I was on tour with Too Short and Ice Cube. And this is like, I remember this is, this is where I get the strength to continue going with music no matter what. A friend of mine, I had produced part of his album. And um, we were on tour with Cube and those guys. And I had this huge tour bus. I only had three people on it. You know, tour buses sleep 12 people. So only three of my boys on it. That, that was it. And there was a guy who, I, like I said, I produced part of his album. And he, he was opening up for me on this tour. But initially, he never asked me to ride on my bus. He decided that he wanted to bring his own car. And he drove behind us from city to city in like a 72 Corolla from city to city until that car broke down. And I allowed that guy to come on my bus and finish out the 60 city tour with me. And that dude to this day ended up, I mean, he's still one of my best friends where we talk like twice a week. His name is Kid Rock. That dude never gave up, you know what I'm saying? Like when, So whenever I, I think about hip hop and I see some of these dudes who always think that you can put a record out and be super successful overnight, I always point them to his career, where this dude started in like 1990, where I produced part of those records, wrote songs for him. And then when you look back, you look at him now, it's like, yo, he never gave up. So anytime that I do, if I try a new business, whether it's through my photography or the directing or the web development, all of the things that I did, initially they weren't popping, I would always look back on that situation, on that tour, and just say like, yo, you can't give up. You know, you gotta keep it, keep it going. And, you know, I've, I've always been successful after that, you know.